Hey guys, today I wanted to show you all how to make a Montessori checkerboard. Here's what you'll need for the project. Two pieces of felt in three colors, red, blue, and green. Black fabric or pillowcase, which is what I've used. Double-sided fusible web. Scissors or a rotary cutter and a self-adhesive healing mat, as well as a ruler. Ribbon is optional and I'll show you why. Plus, fusible tape. I've stacked up all three colors and will cut them into two and a half inch strips and you'll need four strips total. And each strip needs to be cut up into two and a half inch squares. We need a total of 12 squares per color, so 36 in all. Alternatively, if you don't have a rotary cutter, just use a ruler and a Sharpie to measure out two and a half inch squares and cut it up with a really good pair of scissors. Or, even better, have the kids do it. That's my daughter right there helping me. She's making this for her friend. If you're gonna go this route, you'll wanna make sure to use the flip side of this uh, square so that the Sharpie isn't showing. All right, now we're ready to put all of the pieces together. Remove the top layer of the double-sided fusible web to expose the sticky layer and place the felt squares in the green, blue, red pattern, just like how Didi's doing right there. You want to place each square as close together as possible, but if there's tiny gaps here and there, it's okay. You want to make sure you have four rows. The top row goes a little over the fusible web, but that's okay. We can fix that with our fusible tape. Then trim the excess and iron the back side. You can directly iron over the paper. Once the adhesive is released, peel away the backing. If you're using a pillowcase like me, trim away the folded edge. and position your felt on the fabric. Go ahead and iron the felt so it adheres to the pillowcase. Now let's talk about some finishing touches. We can keep it super simple, simple, or make it fancy. Let's look at the first option, which is super simple. All you need to do is use masking tape and a Sharpie to label the place values along both axes. For option two, use fusible tape to stick ribbon around the perimeter of the felt and stick on labels from a label maker or just handwrite it with a Sharpie. Now we're moving on to option number three, which gets a little fancy. My sewing machine can do a little embroidery, so I embroidered the place values, but you can probably do this by hand if you have the patience. I used the pins to mark off each of the areas. It was a little tedious, but I like the end result. Last and final step, if you're using a pillowcase, sew up the opening or hem the sides if you did any additional trimmings, but honestly, it would be totally fine even if you left it open or used fusible tape for a no-sew option. Plus, you can even stuff in some batting if you wanted to. But most of all, enjoy it. Happy learning!